40inbox.com here where we help you master your money. So how do you manage finances when your partner is addicted to losing money? Gaming slash stock options. So my previous post got removed due to having too much of a relationship focus. Blah, 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 blah. Check my post history for the full details if you want. Not going to. Here is the nitty gritty financial component only. If this gets removed, mods, I may as well just uninstall Reddit at this point because this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Reddit. My husband is wildly financially irresponsible. He has lost approximately $100,000 from option trading and a gaming addiction. Those dumb mobile games that people can somehow drop thousands of dollars on just to get ahead in the game. Oh, God. I bet you he's, like, addicted to, like, Diablo or something. <laughs> this sounds horrible. It is essentially up to me to combat another person's behavior to safeguard our future. It kind of sounds like you're being your husband's mom. Your mommy. His mommy, I guess. I have zero income currently but I have approximately 50 k in savings independently. I am being supported temporarily to do a career switch into his career, which is way more lucrative than mine ever was. I have to finish my degree and then get a work visa sponsorship as we moved to a new country for his work opportunity. He has a very good job, which is why we are not in debt right now. He has $135,000 USD base and has stock options which wildly fluctuates due to his company hitting all-time lows due to it being in fintech or the financial technology world. He basically wiped all his savings and down payment to zero. I was able to negotiate with our landlord and reduce our rent from 2.3k to 2k. I drive a used 5.5k car, which I own outright. This is our only vehicle. We have $250 per month, no question asked budget for our entertainment, which only I honor. I mean, just saying, this sounds like super resentful towards him. Like, oof. It is based off of good faith and trust where we tell each other, what was spent so I can update the budget. We do have an Uber Eats slash restaurant habit that another of, I guess that's another of his vices, but it, that is definitely going to zero now. I am wondering specifically if anyone has advice or experience in how to most efficiently and practically take control of our financial future. If there are ways to somehow ban the ability to purchase games from Google Play or somehow get the credit card company to ban purchases from those places, that would be great. All advice is welcome. To my knowledge, he has not gone back into option trading, but I do need to delve deep into his investment account. As of now, he is a repeat offender <laughs> with his gaming addiction, which yesterday I found out was probably about ten to $13,000 since November. Spending ten to thirteen thousand dollars on like mobile games is insane. <laughs> that is so insane. Regardless of how much money you make, that number is mind blowing to me. I am over my head. I am only twenty five years old. Looking for anybody with some wisdom out there to give me some sound advice. Thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> This is so bad. Like, and they're making way too much money to be this dirt poor. This is beyond crazy. And to be frank, there's really only one way to really do this, in my mind, that will actually solve the problem. You're going to have to cut him off of being able to spend money at all. Like, he cannot handle spending money. It is like people on like 600 pound life 
They cannot handle having food around them. They can't. They'll just eat it, right? So what this person is going to have to do, this lady, is going to, at least I assume the lady, right? I'm assuming the lady, whatever. This individual needs to basically put a block on the credit card. You basically need to freeze your credit. You need to freeze your spending accounts. And what I mean by this, the best way to do this is to grab his credit card and probably just have you hold on to it. We're like, you are the only one making purchases. Also, because I bet you he does not have his uh, credit card information or debit card information memorized because he's so addicted to the game, I would delete the credit information out of there. Whether it be from like Apple Pay, Google Play, whatever, just delete all the purchase information that is saved on the phone, the device, the computer, whatever. That's the best way, just delete all that information because he's not going to remember the number. And probably lock up the uh, card because it might be that bad of an addiction. But yeah, he can't be trusted spending money in any situation from what it looks like. He can't handle himself around gaming. He can't handle himself around investing because he's not investing. He's just gambling. Like, this is a horrendous situation to be in, right? Because... To put into perspective, they're making, what, the 135000 base, right? It wouldn't be out of question for them to make one fifty, one eighty, maybe even $200,000 a year, especially if she were to start working too. They could literally be multi-millionaires in, like, less than a decade if he wasn't being stupid with the money, if he wasn't blowing his shot. Like, this is beyond crazy to me. But this is the thing. You do not enable addicts. So you have to get rid of any possible way that he can go and spend money. And the only way that he can spend money has to be in cash. It can't even be with a debit card. It has to be in cash for like him going to work and all that kind of stuff, paying for gas, all that sort of stuff. And you have that budget in cash, and you don't give them more than that. Because this is a horrible, horrible situation. Let's see. So you get him the help he needs to treat his addiction. Gamblersanonymous.org. If that doesn't work, you leave. Like, this is the thing. This is an extremely bad situation. Not just financially. This is a horrendous situation mentally. Like... She is acting like his mom because he can't even take care of himself. Let's see. Therapy. Otherwise, I don't think there is technically any way to stop a person from making purchases on their own account. You could possibly add a daily limit on purchases or reduce the limits available on credit cards. In my mind, if you love the person, if you still want to be with the person, key thing, if you still want to be with them, Talk to them and be like, hey, you have a very serious problem. I love you a lot. I want to be with you, but we need to solve this problem. And what you got to do is literally not allow them to harm themselves by removing any possible way that they could actually go and spend money digitally. They cannot use a credit card. They cannot use a debit card. They cannot use online accounts. Right, you change all the passwords for all that. You probably don't even let him play games anymore because he's addicted to that. <sighs> Lord. This is horrible. Like this could get bad so quickly. So quickly. <sighs> Feel free to give your thoughts if you stumble upon this. If you want to learn how to get out of debt and how I got out of debt and grew my net worth, go down below. Stay tuned for more.